Thank you, Madam Presiding Officer. Statement on the revocation of the appointment of Councillor Sitika Williams Orr and welcoming of new Councillor Mrs. Petalan Roberts. Madam Presiding Officer, this afternoon I rise to make a short statement in the middle of the budget debates to express public gratitude for the service of the now former Councillor Sitika Williams Orr. Mrs. Williams Orr was brought on at the infancy of this government to provide sound technical guidance and advice on the inner workings of the public service of Trinidad and Tobago. Indeed, she delivered over the last two and a half years unparalleled wisdom and direction on how to interface with and to reform the public service in Tobago. Through her strategic inputs as Assistant Secretary in the Office of the Chief Secretary, dealing specifically with labor issues, the government, this government was able to regularize the working conditions of the URP workers by firstly raising their salaries and then, more importantly, by improving the terms and conditions of their employment to include paid vacation leave, sick leave, casual leave, maternity leave, paternity leave, and bereavement leave. <laughs> Similarly, through her work in 2022, in under one year in office, salaries were raised for workers at the bottom of the social ladder, such as those in CPEP and the reforestation and development workers in the division of food security. At that time, CPEP and European workers in Tobago, for the first time, were higher paid than their counterparts in Trinidad, with an additional $29.3 million in their pockets. Mrs. Williams Orr was instrumental in ensuring that in under two years in government, the Division of Food Security, Natural Resources, the Environment and Sustainable Development, and Health, Wellness, and Social Protection employed on their respective daily rated cadre a whopping total of 527 Tobagonians. For that to happen, Mrs. Williams all spent invaluable woman hours <laughs> with senior public servants in both divisions working to clean up the processes and ensure adherence to long-held traditions and legal requirements for such hirings. <laughs> Mrs. Williams also assisted with the regularization of the ECCE teacher establishment at the Division of Education to the extent that those teachers are now armed with legitimate contracts. Before the revocation of her appointment at 11.59 p.m. last night, Mrs. Williams had already set in train similar regularization acti activities that will be completed in fiscal 2025, namely for the divisions of community development, youth development and sport, tourism, culture, antiquities and transportation, and infrastructure quarries and urban development. Mrs. Williams all is a retired public servant and her expertise on HR matters is unmatched in the Tobago space. Her penchant for details and legal precision makes her, for as long as she's alive and in sound mind, an asset to Tobago's development and a thorn in the souls of those who wish to step on Tobago. Sertica Williams or us walk through these hallowed halls was nothing short of inspirational. Should you sit and talk to her, Madam Presiding Officer, she will freely tell of her journey as a young girl being raised in Plymouth, Tobago. I can vividly recall sitting with her over a late lunch sometime in March last year. We were in the presence of other senior Tobago government officials. In that moment, she narrated the traumas she witnessed in and around her, and how her mother buttressed her 
empowered her, emboldened her, and sent her out in the world with a warning. No, make nobody take advantage of you. And based on her mother's advice, she walked through her former schooling from Plymouth Anglican to Bishop's High School, through the public service in Tobago, then as a legislator in this house, unafraid of doing what is right and leading with convictions. Today, I want to telegraph to and through Mrs. Williams all that every barrack girl from every corner of every yard in Plymouth have a reason to be proud, to be inspired, and to aspire to work in the greatest offices of this land. As an assistant secretary, Sertica Williams all had the distinguished pleasure of being the first woman to sit in the office of the Division of Finance, Trade, and the Economy in that capacity. And today, she graciously makes way for yet another woman, a younger woman, to join this house and this government in the thrust towards making Tobago the greatest little island on the planet. As we express gratitude to Mrs. Williams all for her service, we welcome to this noble house, Councillor Petalan Roberts. Mrs. Roberts is joined here today by her husband, Karen Roberts. I wish to congratulate them both. Mrs. Roberts' introduction to this house today is as a result of an answer to our ongoing call for a coalition of the competent and the willing. Petalan Roberts is a chartered certified professional accountant with 15 years of dedicated experience in the Tobago House of Assembly's public service. She previously served in the capacity of senior financial analyst and chief management accountant under the Division of Finance for eight years and Office of the Chief Secretary for seven years, respectively. She also served as a director on, under several state-owned companies, both nationally and under the Tobago House of Assembly. With a comprehensive background in financial management and strategic planning, Mrs. Roberts has consistently demonstrated her expertise and leadership in various high-level roles. She brings a proven track record in financial reporting, budgeting, and public sector accounting, reinforced by international certifications in public financial management and international public sector accounting standards. Tomorrow, Mrs. Roberts will join me as we visit President's House in Trinidad to receive appointment and instruments as a secretary in the Tobago House of Assembly. Then she will be assigned to the Division of Finance, Trade and the Economy, making her the first woman secretary to be assigned to that division in the 43 and a half years of the Tobago House of Assembly. When that happens, this executive that I lead will now constitute five women and four men. Woo! <laughs> making it the first time in the history of this country that an executive branch of government has more women than men, thereby making this administration on yet another front the most progressive executive in the country and the region. Madam Presiding Officer, once again, I wish to commend to the records of this Honorable House sincerest gratitudes to Sertica Williams Orr of Plymouth, Tobago, for her stellar service to the island and its people, and the warmest welcome to Mrs. Petalan Roberts as she begins her journey in politics. Madam Presiding Officer, I thank you. Thank you. Honorable members, we will now suspend this afternoon's proceeding for one hour for lunch. We will be back here at Yeah. Officer, may we ask um
since the rules of the House are determined by the members of the House, um, can I ask through you that the question be put to members that we suspend the sitting for 30 minutes instead and then return uh, for the rest of the sitting? Honourable members, the question put is, I will so indulge the question, Chief Secretary. Honourable members, the question put is that we suspend for half an hour for lunch and we return here at 3? At 3 p.m.? To continue with the business of the day. All in favour say aye. Aye. Any against? We are now suspended for half an hour. Well, until three o'clock.